This is about to be red flag number one. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you are dumb. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel if you're new you should definitely subscribe because i'm a whole vibe okay period so as you can tell by the title your girl got scammed out of some free products okay if you don't know i own a small business i sell customized wigs and all types of hair accessories from satin bondness to satin pillowcases you name it and i offer payment plans so go check me out but the girl got scammed out of some free products, so we just gonna uh, get right into this video. Um, oh wait, before we do that, let me just say there is a lot of red flags in this video that I should have caught and I did not catch. So don't be over there judging me, okay? Alright, let's get into the video. And it's a bad day for edges, y'all. I don't know what I was doing today, but anyways. So I don't know if you guys heard of Pretty Iceland. Um, I know of her because since I was born and raised in New York, sometimes you just know of certain influencers like you know of Aaliyah J in New York you just know but I never really watched Pretty Ison's YouTube channel so yeah but it's all gonna make sense in a second but my best friend watches her and it's crazy because a couple of months ago she was basically saying that she wanted to do a style that Pretty Ison did like she liked the color of her wig or something like that and she was basically like you know she's from New York right and I'm like yeah I think I've heard that before she's from New York so me and my best friend had that conversation a couple months ago. Keep that in mind, y'all. So I had someone reach out to me, pretending to be pretty Iceland, basically. She was basically saying that she loves my products and she wanted to promote them. And she sent me her YouTube channel, her Instagram, and all of that. But me trying to be a detective, I'm like, let me make sure this is really pretty Iceland. I wasn't necessarily surprised because I've had bigger influencers reach out to me before. But still, I wanted to make sure, right? So what I did was I went to make sure that the business email under her YouTube videos matched up with the email that emailed me. And I checked it twice. I seen no errors. Like it looked like the same email, the same exact email. So I'm like, oh, this is really her. Okay, cool. Let me message her back. Now, nine times out of 10, when people reach out to me for promo, they want wigs. That's just something that I know. So since she didn't specify what she wanted in her email, I basically emailed her back and was basically like, hey, I don't have wigs on hand, but I can send you a few bonnets, lashes, and a couple other stuff until I have wigs on hand. And she was like, okay, that's cool. I was just kind of like, oh yeah, this definitely might be her because she's not pressed for a wig. I don't know. That, that's just what was going through my mind. So when I looked, the email matched up and, um, she was okay with just getting whatever I was willing to give her at the time. Let me also say that I was very busy this week. I had a lot of orders to go through. So once I looked at her email and it looked fine, I was like, you know what? Let me just send it. There's no need to triple check anything. This is her. That's what's going through my head. So once I packaged everything up, I went ahead and asked her for her address. Now this is about to be red flag number one. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you are dumb. So I asked the girl for her address and she sent me an address in like Florida or something like that, y'all. Um, I think it was Florida. If I can find the email, I'll post it. But it was not New York. Once again, like I told y'all, me and my best friend just had this conversation. She was like, oh, don't you know she's from New York? And I was like, oh yeah, I definitely heard of her. Completely slipped my mind. So the girl sent me an address and I didn't think anything of it until way after the fact. But we're going to get there sent me her address it was not a new york address and my dumb self still printed out the shipping label still shipped the package out and once i shipped the package out i emailed her with the tracking number and i was basically letting her know when she was going to receive her package all that good stuff right and we were just discussing what she was going to do she said she was going to feature it in one of her vlogs or something like that and i'm like that's calm like that's typical right then she went back to the wig situation she was like i really wanted a wig she was really hoping she can get a wig when am i gonna have wigs on hand so at that point i don't know i kind of just stepped back and i was just like i thought she was fine with the products that you were getting and i told you i would let you know so why are you coming and asking me again 
but I was trying to give the situation the benefit of the doubt. I was like, I'm not sure when I will have wigs on hand, but what you can do is go on my site and let me know what you want. So the next time I order a bulk order of wigs to have on hand, I'll have the wig, right? So she went ahead, went on my website, told me which wig she wanted. Why well, I feel like my eyelash is giving me a lazy eye, I don't know. After I told her, okay, cool. Once I get my next shipment in, I'm gonna make sure to have that wig for you. So then she emails me again and she's like, okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a video on the products that you just sent me. I'm going to wait until I get the wig. What? That's not what we discussed. So at that point, Shorty is giving herself away. Girl, we discussed you putting those products in your vlog. So why are you waiting for a wig to come to do a video? No, ma'am. So something just told me to check the email again for a third time. And of course... After the first package is already sent off, I see the error. I see what I missed. Pretty Iceland has, I think, three S's in her email. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and I believe this girl had four S's in her email. And I'm like, oh, oh, you clever. You clever because for somebody that was busy like me, it was definitely possible for that to get overlooked. And once I seen the extra S, I'm like, wait. Where did I ship that package to? Immediately, I texted my best friend and I'm like, I effed up. Because I didn't say this in the beginning. I told my best friend that Pretty Ice and reached out to me and she was like, oh, that's amazing exposure. You need to get on that. Just make sure that's really her. And I told her I double checked the email. Da, 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 da. So once I started putting two and two together and I peeped that the email that wrote me was not Pretty Ice's email, I immediately texted my best friend and I'm just like, girl. I'm dumb. She's like, what happened? And I'm like, girl, I sent the package to an address that's not in New York. So I do not understand how that was not a red flag to me. And she was like, oh girl, that's on you. She was like, how did you realize that the address was not a New York address? Like, how did you not realize that? We was just talking about her not too long ago. And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, definitely sent the package to someone that is not pretty Iceland. And once I peeped that, I'm like, I'm glad I peeped that before I sent her a wig because I would have been really pissed. From then on, I stopped responding to her emails and she took it upon herself to continue emailing me like, hey, is everything okay? And I would get an email saying, um, hopefully everything is fine because I really want this wig so I can do a video. Like she just kept emailing me and eventually I just blocked her because I was pissed off. I'm like, girl, you just got some free products out of me. You better shut up and take it because at this point, you definitely giving yourself away because you're doing the most why are you emailing me so many times like you done gave yourself away so i think after like the fifth email she realized that i realized that she was not who she said she was i i really definitely need to pay more attention now and it's crazy because i typically do not send people stuff for promo just because i've been doing well enough on my own so unless it's someone big that reaches out to me i never consider it and of course this is the time that I messed up and I'm just like dang looking back on it there was so many red flags the address the email but anybody could look over an email I think I don't know I feel so stupid the address the email the way shorty was um messaging me my best friend was also telling me that I should have reached out to her on Instagram to see if it was really her as well and she was also saying that she probably would have reached out to me on Instagram rather than emailing me to begin with but some people do do business through email. They don't do business through Instagram. So I didn't think anything of it. But yeah, y'all, your girl messed up and got scammed out of some free products. I sent her probably about $30 worth of products, maybe $40 worth of products. And then, of course, I paid for shipping. So we're going to tack on another $10. So it's unfortunate, but I know better now. Like, I know to double and triple check. This will never happen to me again, okay? I'm not understanding why people love scamming small business owners. Like, sweetheart, go get a job. It's like, it's just so sad. It's like, you really down bad like that? And if you down bad like that for real, I'm pretty sure you don't need no bonnets. Like, you don't need the stuff that you scamming people for. You don't need the stuff that you trying to finesse people out of. I'm pretty sure you don't. 
oh, it's just so frustrating because as a small business owner, we go through this. You know how much fraudulent orders I have to cancel a day? Even when you apply for your business license, when you apply for your LLC, there's people that will send you letters basically saying that you need to send them in money. Small business owners, beware of that. That is a scam. When I first got my um business license, I had someone emailing me pretending to be the state of Georgia, basically saying that I had to send them in money. So I called to double check because I'm like, why am I sending you money when I just paid y'all for my business license? And they told me themselves, the state told me themselves that that is a scam. They're not going to ask you to mail in no money, especially when you were just there. And on top of that, my cousin just started her business. She just applied for her business license and got her LLC and she got that same letter. And it's a good thing I was at her house when she opened the letter because she was actually about to send them that money. And I'm like, that's a scam. Do not do that. They will not tell you to um, get a money order and send. They don't do that. They don't. People love trying to get over small business owners and I don't really understand. Not my phone dying at the end of the video, but hopefully I enjoyed this little story time. I'm going to try to do some more little story time for y'all because my life be... Oh, all over the place but hopefully i enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one